Welcome to Citrus TV's coverage of the Final Four and National Championship Day 1 here in Atlanta. Kevin Barry joined by Chris Lewis. And the focus of all of college basketball is really right here outside the Georgia Dome. Yeah, but what they're focusing on has nothing to do with the Georgia Dome. The main topic of conversation when you have four teams playing for a shot of a championship was a Rutgers team that didn't make the NCAA tournament. Of course, it was Mike Rice who was released from his duties as the head coach at Rutgers, and all four of the final four coaches ended up weighing in on their colleague. I absolutely do not believe there's that coaching style going on. I absolutely do not. Not any, I don't think there's a, I mean, I'm, I'll go out where you probably shouldn't go. I don't think there's a coach in the country that does that. And I, I know Mike Rice. I've known him a long time. I like him. I think he's a, I think he's a very good basketball coach. And I think the tragedy is his team would have played exactly the same or better if he hadn't done any of that. All the coaches in the community is, uh, is disappointed in it, uh, how that uh, transpired, and that uh, you know I don't know enough. I don't know uh, Mike Rice well enough. I don't know the athletic director enough, but I know that this day and age, uh, there's a uh, there's a, there's certain uh, lines you're not going to cross with your student athletes. We feel bad in the coaching profession for Mike Rice for the kids that had to go through that, for his family that's going to have to endure the embarrassment. Now that being said. This is an isolated incident that doesn't happen in college basketball. Those things do not happen. I've been, as a pro coach, I would go to every city and go see a college practice. And, you know, I've seen some coaches that may use rough language, but that just doesn't go on. It's just a, um, an aberration that just doesn't go on in college basketball. I feel, feel bad for Mike, I uh, hope, hope that he can get straight and, and figure out what um, he needs to do going forward and gets another opportunity. I feel really bad for those young men. I hope that it didn't impact any of them negatively to the point where they weren't able to be good basketball players and finish their careers. Uh, there's obviously a line that was crossed and unfortunately uh, there's a lot of people that are su will suffer now including Rutgers University and in the state of New, uh, New Jersey. I used to be more like that. Now if I get upset once every week or two, it's a lot, you know, because I found that it really doesn't make any difference. It's like yelling at referees. You can yell at them all you want. It's not going to make any difference, you know, so why do it? Why waste the energy? And why distract yourself from coaching? And the general consensus is that those guys are trying to back away from Mike Rice, almost disown those kind of actions as head coaches. Yeah, it's to me the initial reactions from all these coaches. I mean, you had Jim Beheim who basically said he couldn't get through the video. All he could muster was about 10 seconds before he had to shut it off. Rick Pitino, absolutely appalled. Yeah, Coach Beeline from Michigan, basically the same reaction as Rick Pitino. All of them were just simply stunned that this could really happen for an extended amount of time that it did. And on the surface, it makes it seem like it really is that much of an abnormality and that coaches don't behave like that. The unfortunate reality is that we really don't know. Yeah, that's the sad part. You really don't know how far away from the norm that Coach Mike Rice is. And give the coaches here at the Final Four credit, they did their best to make it seem like this is an anomaly. You had really all four of the coaches basically say they've never seen anything like it. Coach Rick Pitino said when he was in the NBA, spent eight different years touring college practices and none of them even resembled that even close. So I would tend to agree with those coaches and hope that this is out of the norm. But again, you never know. Now, realistically, you can probably accept that this doesn't happen in every college campus. But what we're worried about is that it's not that far away from what might happen. And looking forward into the future, how does this change things? It seems like coaches might behave differently or but coaches are set in their ways maybe they just yeah. don't let the same people get hold Especially of their practice these footage. coaches these coaches yeah. have gotten to this point you think they're set in their ways quite a bit and that that's what i think a lot of the focus of the questions were not exactly the reaction to the video but more on what exactly is this do to change it whether different people get a hold of practice video and basically the coaches saying 
there's nothing to hide at this point. I mean, we are what we are. There's nothing that we're going to do to change the way we coach here in college basketball. Certainly some changes in the way that coaches behave towards their players, and especially when the ever-watchful eye of the camera is looking on during practice. Be sure to stick with Citrus TV Sports for all your coverage of the Final Four and National Championship on Sportsblog at sportsblog.citrustv.net. Also be sure to check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.